GammonGalaxy.com. What's up, Backgammon fans? This is Mark Olsen. I have a tournament match to play here. Match begins in less than one minute. Maybe we can just show you really quick what this tournament is about. Okay, so it's a 20 euro buy in. Three players F. Neumark, myself, and Solitaro. Did I get a buy? Oh, I didn't get the buy. I'm playing against Fernando in the first round. Okay, so it's a speed tournament on Backgammon and Galaxy. It's a mind skills tournament. And here we go. Aha, uh -huh. two times lover's leap. Okay, so even though he started with 3-1 to make the golden point, I rolled 6-5 twice in a row and it I accomplished the fastest possible defined state position, but I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not exactly a good defined state. I could make the double hit here, but no, my race, my race lead is too significant, so I'm just gonna pile up on the six-point play safe. I can't really take too many chances here. Okay, now I'm in a position where I have to expose myself to something. I think maybe this one duplicates the force. I mean, I have the hit, but this is going to be almost a double shot. This is the safest one. 11 shots. This is going to be 6, 2, 5, 3, and double 2. So that's an additional 5 shots. 16 shots. It's too much. Let's play safe. Let's play safe. And I'm getting hit. Not good. Okay. He's gonna cube. I think I still have a take here. That was a cube. That was a big cube from Fernando. Why didn't he double? <laughs> that was too good. That was too good to double. I think he realize, realizes that it's too good now. Just plays on. Oh, definitely too good to double. Gonna analyze the match afterwards in analysis mode on galaxy let me see if I can get out nope so this is a 20 euro tournament with with a 10% rake which means that you have 18 euros from each of the three players going to the prize pool so it's 54 euro or tournament coins for the winner I'm gonna try to win this thing I'm down to my last tournament coins I bought in for 200 euro and I just haven't been able to win anything. So slowly and steadily I've lost my bankroll. <laughs> but if I can win this tournament then I'm back on track. Okay. So this is going to be a gammon. It's going to be a gammon. A little bit boring. <sighs> Down to zero, probably. It's a seven. It's a seven point speed. Okay. <laughs> Notice that I haven't moved any of my checkers here. I got to escape my two back checkers with the lover's leap and then it was downhill from there. Okay, so I'm just saving gammon here. I think it's impossible to save the gammon, to be honest. Okay. No wait. That's three crossovers to the to the six point. That's what I'm trying to do when saving the gammon. Just get a crossover to the six point, that's fine. Okay, X1. Of course, I gotta be aware of my two checkers in this inner board. I don't want to lose a gammon or backgammon, so that's why I'm gonna get both of them out of there now. And it's just gonna be a gammon. Whatever I move. Yeah, gammon it is. 
No, I might win too far. Now that I'm down in the match, look at this opening. I'm going to play it aggressively and bring two checkers down. More ammunition for the blitz and more builders for the prime. And now look at this. Now he's probably going to split with the four, but I have an extra attacker here from the 11 point. I think he made a nice play there. The hidden split tempo play. Oof, double four. That's a good shot. He's going to anchor on the 20 and make the nine. Okay, he chooses to hit loose instead of making the nine. Yeah, actually I think that's better. I think I was a little bit deluded. I think he is right. Probably better to just hit loose. Prevent me from escaping. 3-1. I can't make my golden point. But I can make the 10 point. Not bad. 3-1. Hmm. Three, double 3. Should be a powerful roll. How to play it? What about this move? Keeping all my checkers alive. 4-1. I think he should come out here to the 16 point. No, that's not the right time to make a blitz move. He gets rewarded. And then rolls a top five. Oh, wow. Hmm, how should he play it? Maybe he should actually go all in here, make the three, and then bring two down to make the eight point, reestablish the eight point. I would have made the eight point here, and then played with blots in the outfield. Okay, I'm in. I need to play safe. I'm still ahead in the race. That's really nice. Really nice to be ahead in the race. How is he going to play this double four? He could hit loose on the ace point from the 13. He switches it up. Now the race is kind of close, so maybe he's right in the switching play, but I think I would have probably hit loose. I'm not sure. His problem, not mine. 2 4. He keeps hitting me, huh? Oh, that's a nasty 4. Why? <laughs> No, no, that cannot be right. That cannot be. Look at this. I punish him with the anger. Now he's overextended. That was a bad move from his part. Playing this dilly builder to the. It's better to just leave more shots and have a uh, have uh, attackers alive and ready to pound. Five four. Oh. There's the double slot. Is it too fancy of a move? Oh. <sighs> Feels bad to make this nasty play when I'm down in the race. I'm trying to prime, but it's just this or the double slot. Double slot. Okay, that helps. What a nice roll that was. Double five, not bad from his part. Not bad. Now I want to strike on the five. Yes. Thank you very much. Can we get a fan? Nope, we could not. But he's coming out. I can't double just yet. I need to at least get a hit and a fan. Hit, please. Aha. Uh -huh. That's really good. If he enters on the ace or if he fan, if he fans, this is a cube, I think. Yeah, this is a cube. This is a cube. I think it's a take. He's ahead with quite a big amount of pips. Okay, I'm just going to bring a builder in. I'm going to keep the 10 points since it blocks. Okay, now is probably the time to come off the anger. Look, I get a little bit of a discount if I am to get hit. So yeah, I'm coming off the anger. Oh, 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 oh. what a joker. I what a joker sequence. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, now he slaughters me completely. I notice that I'm taking chances. I'm not just playing safe, because if I'm if I'm playing too safe too early, then I might be, and then I might have to make a take a big risk later on. So I'm taking small risks along the way to get to a gin position fast. And this time it just backfired. I still like my move though. Okay, I'm losing a gammon here and I'm down big time. This is tough. This is tough. I 
Okay, guys, but if you, you want to participate in some of these tourneys, we have them running every single day for real stake. All you got to do is buy some tournament coins in the Mind Skills website, and, uh, and then you're in. We've got tournaments every hour of the day. So far, it seems to be that there's been quite a good value in these tournaments. But unfortunately for me, I haven't really been able to capitalize on that. <laughs> I've been a loser. Okay, zero, six, crawl forward. Let's see if I can make a comeback. Look at how, look how he plays this 4-1. Huh. Gets rewarded big time. Okay, I'm gonna do this. 6-5, that's a good shot. He's a little bit ahead in the race now. Oh, I'm feeling tempted to slot, but it's not the right idea. 4-2, another good roll from him. Can I get a double one, please? Okay, that's not bad either. The race is close. Look at I'm stepping... Ah, oh, 5-3. Again, I took a small risk by stepping up. But there was a big reward as well, because then I'm ready to jump out. But I got punished with a 5. The 5-3. Five, okay, here, so I, there's this move, which I think is the right idea. And then there's the running play. Five shots. Oh, sorry, the five. Fifteen shots. I think I need some prime. Okay, I survived, but his double deuces is annoying because he can hit in many ways. He can point shift, he can hit loose. That's nice. What about this? Coming down, I can't hit. Okay, so I hang back. Ah, come on. Perfect. Okay. I need to hang back. Now I gotta play for contact. In a very poor one man back contact game. Ah. Yeah. Okay, I, it's a little bit bad to give up the seven point, but I need inner points. That's the key. Because I'm, when you're under attack with a single man back, you want to have a solid front position. Even there, usually, I mean, just it's too efficient to slot, so I'm going to do it. But I prefer not to have plots when I'm under attack over here on this side of the board. Do oh, what? He buried a checker? That, that, that didn't look right. I don't know why he did that. He's giving me some chances. Aye, that's lucky. Now he's gonna hit. Can I get a 3-5, please? He's gonna hit. Okay, double three. I guess it's not that bad. Oh. <laughs> I guess I can't win anything. <sighs> On this side. <laughs> Yeah, it's game over. So it was a short match, unfortunately. I'm just gonna resign. <laughs> Hope I keep rolling this way. Okay, resign match. Let's see the PRs. Let's see the PRs. Okay. I didn't really feel like I did anything wrong. So 1.9. And he played a 4.4, which is pretty good. Let's see. Okay, I did have one checker play blunder and one error. And he had some cube blunders. I think we called him out on it. Ah, oh, that's the 5-4. We minimize shot here by playing 6 to 2, but it's better to just bring two down. Okay. Fair enough. I think that was my instinct play, duplicating the force. But it's just 15 versus 11 shots. So, but okay, 15 is better. I mean, you get a big discount on the duplication. That's the thing. And then here, oh yes, here you missed a big cube. We called him out on it. It's even a pass. 
then it became too good to double. That's it. Okay, let's see this one. Oh yes, he was indeed right. Hitting is better, much better than making the <laughs> nine point. Good that I corrected myself. Yeah, four one. Okay, this one, this play I didn't like. Wow, it's super close. Two milli points. Okay. I didn't like the hit because I felt like he didn't have enough ammunition in the zone to make a blitzing move. But it's not only a blitzing move. It's also about fighting for the next point in your prime. It's the battle on the edge of the prime. And I have a single checker, so I'm threatening to run away and achieve full freedom. So, okay, okay. I mean, I can see now that it does make sense, but I would have chosen the second one. Okay, so what's happening here? <laughs> yeah, I fan. He rolls a perfect roll, double five. Here I would have made the eight point. I would have made this play probably. So that would have been a mistake. So at least his play was better. Okay, and the best play would be to cover, come out with 23-18 and play 21 to 11. Okay, so going full on the connectivity. Okay, he chose to keep this one back and have the eight point slotted a little bit more offensively and aggressive. And then the double four. Oh yes, this is a big blunder to switch. He's not enough ahead in the race. He still got some back checkers that needs to get out. So you can't destroy your prime value this early. If he had been fully escaped with the this goalkeeper checker down here for instance on the 23 point then maybe the switch had made more sense because then he would have been up like 15 20 pips or something but as it is it's just too early to give up your prime value he switched and that's a big blunder he should have just hit loose like we talked about 13 to 9 and then play the last four 13 oh sorry 13 to 1 and then play 13 to 9 with the last four and look at all these triple outfield builders he, he has it's almost like having a direct builder or even better uh, to the ace point because you have so many indirects okay so here he should hit oh yes he played this ugly eight to four i think we criticized him for that as well during the match 11 to 7 good i feel like i basically called all of his errors and did almost didn't commit a single error myself. It's not quite true because I did make a blunder. So I have a checker play blunder coming up. Okay, so here I double and he takes a pass. I thought it was a take as well because of the race. Um, but he's had 2-0. So maybe that swings the decision into a pass. Okay, so he took a small pass there. It's a drop by 21 melee points. So essentially completely dead even. And then I just start fanning. And oh yes, look at this. Here I take a little risk exposing myself not too much of a risk to be honest this one is a little bit more risky but it's the right idea right it's the right idea to come out now rather than deteriorating your front position because i could play something like 10 to 6 10 to 5 but then i'm losing my 10 point and the 10 point is super useful as long as my four point is open because notice it's six pips away so it's blocking his four six from escaping and it's attackers and builders for the four point so i made the right play and he got lucky 5-4 from the bar, 6-1 fan, 5-2, incredibly sh incredible shot, and then I'm just oh, top of one shift, yeah, it's just perfect, unperfect, unperfect, and then I end up losing a gammon here, down, 6-0, this game, he makes a really cool slotting play with 4-1, that's a small error, I think it's an even bigger error when he's playing against someone like me, Grandmaster, but, uh, Okay, at least it's a cool play. So I get to hit, he gets punished, but he saves it. He picks up the ball again, rolls a double five, covers the five. Three, two, six, five, five, one. Okay, so XG has a slight preference for oh, 20, 24, 23 with the ace rather than 11 to 10. The checker on the 11 point is a little bit better placed here than on the 10 point because of the duplication to make inner, uh, inner boards or priming points, the 7 and the 5 point. Oh no, my son is crying. 13 to 9, uh huh. 
he plays 13 to 10 and he should have scooped over to the 9 point and not step into my blitz zone here when he goes to the 23 point look at all these this stack of checkers that gets activated on on the 6 rolling a 6 like a double 6 he activates or 6-4 as well activating the blitz and here is my blunder okay I actually wasn't sure on this move I think I zigzagged a bit back and forth and eventually I ended up building because of my stacked front position I felt like I was really improving my front position a lot by making the seven point on stacking the eight but okay it's just too much to give up I give a direct shot here on the midpoint and I keep being trapped so better yet just go for the escaping maneuver try to get the freedom now yeah that actually looks quite solid to com come out I mean you have a connected position whereas when you make the seven point you have a disconnected position and getting hit on the 13 point is really bad then I have two checkers back if I get hit on the 17 point then I still just have one checker back poor move on my behalf all obviously not it's not a bigger blunder than this uh, because you do get something really good out of my move the seven point okay so here he switches which is the right idea yeah hitting loose is not even in the top three it's because he's ahead in the race with four pips eight so he's going to be ahead with 13 pips after the switch so that's enough of a pip lead to switch he doesn't need the prime here double five perfecta and then it's difficult it's an uphill battle oh is this oh yeah he made a weird move here by picking and passing he's way ahead in the race so there's no need to do that maybe he was scared of my double five but it's not really enough of an excuse okay And that's it. That's it. That's the analysis. Hope you liked it, guys. Like and subscribe the video. We have a lot of videos coming soon. Uh, I'm going to be back to my regular home office in Portugal in a couple of weeks. And then I'm going to start producing a lot of videos again, doing live streams, doing interviews, doing some really cool videos coming up. We've got a, an interview with Bill Roberti. We've got an interview with uh, Bob Wachtel coming up. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Stay tuned. If you haven't already liked and subscribed to this channel, please do so. You will help us out. You will get us some YouTube algo points. So that's good. Spreading the, the, the backgammon galaxy and the backgammon in general. All out on YouTube. So is that it? Oh yeah, okay. I forgot. I forgot to play my ad for my books here. If you haven't already bought them, check this out. Wait, wait, wait. How do I do it? Uh, why doesn't it play? Ah, I was going to have an... Oh, now I know why. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see if it works now. There it is. Buy on Amazon. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Backgammongalaxy.com.